So welcome back to this quirky base builder. For anyone new, I play games for the storytelling and challenge, which generally means taking my time, trying to stay thematic, and avoiding exploits. If you prefer min-maxing or speeding through content, then my stuff may not be for you, although you're welcome to join us for a while to find out. Okay, so as we get to the point of reasonable sustainability here, at least we don't have to worry too much that our dupes are going to die anytime soon. Then, and we just need to finish up a few little tasks here and there. I think maybe it is time to start thinking about some more permanent locations for some of the temporary things that we have set up. Um, we're not gonna start moving everything at this point, but we do wanna start thinking, I'm gonna actually slow this down a little bit for just a second here. Um, so we do want to just start to get in our mind sort of the layout for what our base is going to be. And one thing that I definitely want to do here, well, I'll, I'll get into that here as soon as I take a look here at the blueprints. So, decorator, there we go. Is he the only one? He is the only one. So, excuse me, she is the only one. So, decorating, operating, building, that's fine. We... We said we were going to take the first decorator who comes along, and so we shall. Ellie the Artist. Okay, so we have Ellie the Artist here. She is a biohazardous dupe, which is sort of uh, par for the course for our, for our base. So let's go ahead and I'm going to pause it long enough to give her a skill point. Ellie the Artist. Obviously, art fundamentals. Obviously, we have to give her the artist hat. And we have to figure out where she's going to go to the schedule. So she is our seventh dupe. Now, we have three shifts of two people already. We could get away with having her on one of those uh, pre-existing shifts, but I'm not going to do it that way. I'm actually going to create another schedule here and we're going to call this maybe the uh, let's see here if I do it let's let's do this day shift plus two okay and all we're going to do then is take the default schedule here and so the third one in is what we want to be our bath time so let's just adjust this Boom, 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 boom. Bath time and bedtime then is going to be one, two, three. And the downtime is the two before that. Now, one thing that we're going to probably do relatively soon is we are going to expand the, the two squares here of downtime to three. That will give us, a, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Why not? We're being horribly inefficient in this playthrough, so so why not be a little bit more horribly inefficient? So, it, And just to add to the horrible inefficiency, 
we want Ellie to go ahead and be assigned to this. So she's actually going to work here for three, um, three hours, I guess it is, and then uh, and then go ahead and take her first night's sleep. So maximum inefficiency. And then for her priorities, she is going to be the one and only person who can do decorating. And we're just going to, I think, leave her at default for everything else. I didn't even really pay attention to what else she's good at. She can be the doctor, but we already have one of those. But, you know, she, we'll, we'll let her we'll let her do that at sort of a medium priority. Why not? And then uh, machinery and construction. We have, uh, we have a builder already. Do I have an operator or a machinist? I don't remember. I guess not. So if I look here at operating, pay the digger can do operating, but she's not really, well, you know, I don't know. Maybe I will end, I'm going to go ahead and do this because, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do that because at some point we might want to have an actual operator. It's not a priority right now. We really, the only machinery we really have is this coal generator this manual generator, which is disabled. Um, let's go ahead and get the ball rolling here again. Okay, so let me finish, go back to what I was talking about before um, Ellie joined us. Oh, I need to make sure she's got a bed, of course. Okay, keep getting distracted. That, that's really what this game is all about. This game is all about getting distracted and forgetting what you were doing. That's what makes it so absolutely glorious. So you can see what I'm doing here is I'm starting to change the the uh, the bedroom situation because I still I want to keep this up here residential, but we don't want everybody to be in just this barracks for the rest of their lives. So and we can go. We got really no problem with with all of this being bedrooms. There's, uh, there's going to be air situation. We have to make sure we get enough oxygen over here, but the little bit of extra heat kind of creeping down this way is not that big of a deal. So we're going to just go ahead and get start getting this converted. It's not a priority, but there's no harm in getting the layout done for now. But anyway, right, uh, and then I think what we'll end up doing, we'll probably end up relocating this water. Is there any reason not to go ahead and do that? Let's go ahead and start relocating water too. Why not? Let's, let's just go for broke here and just like be really dumb about everything we do. Just to, like try to have everything happening at once, which is not... That's really a great way to accomplish almost nothing in this game, is to be trying to do everything at once. Um, but you know what? Sometimes it can be fun that way as well. So we're setting things up here. We're going we're gonna to let this all trickle down to here, and then we're going to let this come down and join it. Which means we're going to have to make this larger. Which means... Let's go ahead and plan for that. Let's go ahead and go to here and actually we got ladders down there we're gonna need ladders for oops along this side as well I think I think maybe I'd better stop there for the time being and let them actually get that much done I want to relocate this uh, this coal generator um, probably over in this direction at some point, but this actually might as well uh, transition us into talking about the slime, or excuse me, I think this is called the swamp biome, but the swamp biome, the predominant feature of it is all of this green stuff. This is slime, and this is slime lung, which is a pretty icky disease that exists in the slime tiles. So, you dig that up, you're asking for trouble because because slime lung germs are just going to get everywhere. So you want to be, we do want to actually be a little bit careful about, about that, especially with all of the dupes that we have that are biohazardous and thus extremely vulnerable to diseases. So even though we're being inefficient, we don't want to be absolutely stupid 
and get all of our dupes incredibly sick. So we'll, we'll come up with a game plan as to how to handle the slime lung. But in the meantime, we do have a little bit of room over here that we can that we can uh, build with. And I want to I, I do want to get my heat generating structures away from things like the water and the plants that we're growing. This is where the heat can creep in and prevent you from being able to grow plants. And if we are prevented from growing plants, everybody dies. We don't have enough other food sources for all of our dupes without the plants. Now we're pretty far away from, from it being an issue right now, but it is definitely something we want to plan around. And meanwhile also, I mean, we finished this last time, so we do have now fully functioning Okay, this is good. So the, our bathrooms are are functioning just fine. Uh, this this needs to get finished right here because right now, yeah, right now we have uh, all the water, all the polluted water is kind of jammed up here. It's all clogged because the pipe is blocked. And it's not stopping us just yet, but it will pretty soon, so... So this needs to hurry up and get finished. And then once it does, you know what, we want all this... ...as well, to get finished. Um... And this as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and just get all of this stuff to five at this point. It all needs to happen. Okay, and I can go ahead now and... Destroy these planter boxes and that uh, oxygen diffuser as well because we're going to make use of that. We could only do five wide here when all of our plants were growing one tile higher, but now that they're in the floor, or once they are in the floor, which will be as soon as these get cleared out, then all of a sudden this, this one light bulb will be able to hit all seven of these. That's why I do the plants seven wide at a time. And you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just in anticipation of eventually switching over to a full... a fully um, bristle, bristle blossom economy, food economy. I'm going to go ahead and put the light bulbs everywhere. Now, it's going to take a long time for that to happen. We don't have enough seeds. But we'll get there eventually. This is going to probably not even... You know, I'm not even going to do this because I'll probably end up using this for something else. That was sort of a temporary get as many plants going as possible location. speed up again. So Ellie right now, obviously we've made this artist, but we're not actually doing anything artistic with her. Why is that? Well, that's because we actually need her to get all the way up to Masterworks before it's even worth having her do the, um, the sculpting of the statues. Not to mention, I don't think we've even researched the, the technology for that. To actually be able to build the statues that we're going to want to build pretty soon, we need to get all the way here to large sculpting blocks. So, two technologies away from that. We also are going to want this artistic expression, and I'm actually going to go ahead and do this now. We'll worry about fine art a little bit down the road, but we'll do artistic expression because there are some things that we can go ahead and build which will benefit our decor even before she can do the sculpting. So let's go ahead and get these doors open. And... Oh, oh, oh! I just realized, poor, poor Ellie, she... I didn't even notice it, but she probably slept on her, uh, on her back somewhere because I didn't finish building her bedroom yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some cots in, into these rooms for now. And I'm going to put some flower pots into them as well. So that's furniture. 
flower pot, flower pot. Okay. And so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make just this one a priority. Better, better give everybody a second to catch up now because we're still at the point where even when I'm setting priorities, it's not really getting done very quickly. But that's a-okay as long as we don't die. And I don't think we're going to, for the time being, we haven't really entered the truly dangerous phase of the game just yet where we start going out of our starting biome got plenty of water to last us a while we got plenty of food in our stockpile now to last us a while we've got insufficient oxygen but I don't think it's by very much yeah we're not too far behind however it is a consideration so I'm gonna go ahead and put another oxygen diffuser up right here for now Here, we're going to start going ahead and planting our blossom seeds. Twenty-one percent, eight percent. This one right here, I'm going to go ahead and X that as well, because we're going to put blossom seed here. The others will let grow and then harvest them before we destroy them, or excuse me, deconstruct them. I'm going to speed it up to triple speed. Just for a minute, I, I don't want to go triple speed for very long because I kind of like watching the progress as it happens and sort of the uh, sort of the reactions to good things that happen. So, Joshua the Doc. Okay, he's all the way up to maximum here, advanced medical care. So we will uh, we'll go back to regular speed here and watch him put his exciting new hat on. Right, nice going, Josh. There we go. Yay, okay. It's got a band-aid on it and everything. Alright. And then we we did finish our research, so I'm not gonna start doing the build orders yet, but we can now start doing some of the some of the uh, decor items that don't really require Anybody with the uh, Masterworks skill? Did I not designate that for deconstruct? Oh no, I, I didn't. Deconstruct, that's what I meant to do. Okay, so we're getting the blossom seeds in there, so that's good. And there is water in there waiting for them, right? Or there will be at least... There, yeah, we can see the water flowing in, so that's good, okay. Oh, no, wait a minute. I didn't mean to do that. That was dumb of me. This is the one that I, all right, well, let's, uh, let's not worry about that, okay. There we go, okay, so we got, we got him growing, we got a blossom seed here, okay. All right, back to, fast forward a little bit. Not super fast, but fast. Go ahead and disable this building for a moment. Conserve a little bit of coal here, and I'm, this time I'm going to remember to turn it back on. Okay. We got all of our uh, deodorizers up here working. This is probably overkill, but this is uh, this is important. We want all this polluted oxygen as it creeps up to get converted into the light blue, which is the good oxygen. We have a couple pieces of polluted oxygen that managed to escape, but, but that's fine. We got some more up here. That's fine. We'll, we'll take care of all that in time. It's not going to be a big deal for now. Clay, okay, so we got some clay. I need to clear that clay out because... Let me go ahead. I'm going to actually remind myself that I have to deal with this. We do not... Do we have any storage... 
bins built right now? We don't. I think I had some and I deleted them. Okay, so this this gets back to what I was going to say at the beginning of this episode, which is we need to build a location for storage, and for now, I'm planning on putting it here. Which means digging up these, and that's fine. Let's get, let's get this dug out. So we need... We need a little bit of buffer space between our manufacturing and our agriculture here. And I see no reason to not just go ahead and start filling it up with uh, storage units for now. In fact, when we get the uh, when we get the technology for it, which is going to be right here, temperature modulation, we get this insulated tile. I'll actually lay down some insulated tile beneath either either right here or maybe maybe another row below it. Um, so that will help keep the heat from from getting up into the rest of our base as well. Yeah, I'll probably do another row. Okay, and then We're doing okay on the uh, on the stress front. That's good because Frankie, the rancher down here, is going to be soaking wet. There's things you can do to help with that. I can get uh, some what are they called? At Atmo suits or something like that, which help protect them from not just water but all kinds of different bad things that can happen. Um, but it's going to take a while for us to get to that level of research which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and set the, the location of the walls here. Go ahead and cancel this because that's not where we want a wall to go. We're going to want it one, two, three, four. We're going to want it right here. And of all of these cots, well, I gotta gotta dig up all this, which is fine. Not a problem. Okay, so I, yeah, when okay, now I can go ahead and start doing this. And I think I think I'm gonna do five, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then skip one, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and build a tile here. That's 15 storage bins. That's good enough for now. But we're going to end up putting a little decoration here in between. Um, and then we'll wait for the first one to get built, and I'll admit, and then I'll start talking about the clay again. So the clay. Ooh, wait a minute. Why? Why are you guys? Oh, because I forgot to turn it back on. Wow, we ended up burning through the batteries a lot faster than I thought we were going to. Okay. Yes, once more I make a mistake by trying to conserve power. You'd think I'd learn the first time, but, uh, you know. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Okay, so we got some storage bins here. For these storage bins, we're going to go ahead and allow, you know, basically most most things can get stored here. I'm not going to store the critter eggs just yet. Okay, so I want to make sure I'm storing the dirt but not the clay. Because the clay, for now, it's not a big deal, but eventually we're good. when we use these uh, deodorizers, these deodorizers are deodorizers are going to create this clay right here and it's not a problem down here or uh, I should say up here but down here when we start using deodorizers in this environment where there's going to be all kinds of slime lung that clay is going to have slime lung germs and I don't want them carrying clay with slime lung germs up here and dropping them off in these storage bins. So, that's why we're not doing the clay for now. We'll figure out a different storage use uh, location for the clay. But for now, all the rest of this stuff, we can go ahead and store the algae. 
we can go ahead and store the raw m minerals and the seeds. That's fine. Okay. And then I'm going to copy settings to all of these. And we now have a... Okay, good. So we, we've cleared the pipes out because we've... In fact, we can see right here. People are using the sink. The polluted water is now coming the whole way along here. Moves pretty slow, even on uh, fast forward. And we'll see it start to spill out right here. There, there we go. It's spilling out, filling up down here. The more water we, more polluted water we have down here, is going to keep uh, creating this polluted oxygen, which will eventually creep up here and get converted into regular oxygen. So that's that's fine for now. Nails the builder earns a skill point. This is good. We we like being able to build things faster. And we want to see him put his new construction hat on. Where is he? Oh, he's eating right now. Oh, he doesn't have a doesn't have a mess table. How did that happen? I just didn't build enough of them. Okay. Well, he will soon enough. So I guess it's going to have to wait until he wakes up in the morning for him to go get his new hat. Did I say wakes up in the morning? I mean wakes up in the evening. Okay, yeah. All right. Now we've got enough uh, mess tables for everybody, so... That'll be good. Everybody now will be... Okay, whoop, whoop. Don't want to miss this. Slow it down. Okay, regular speed here. Yay! Nice job, Nails. Look, it's a different color. How exciting. Okay. So, yeah, so this... This great hall, now everybody is going to be eating their meals in here. And that's a good thing because of the morale bonus that they were going to get. Now, do we have airflow tile? We need airflow tile right here. Uh, new printables available already. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. So I don't think we want to take any more dupes on for the moment because we uh, we need to stay, make sure our base doesn't get ahead of itself. Um, you know, make sure it's stable in terms of our food and everything else. So, uh, Actually, which is just fine because we already have all of these things covered anyway, and we don't want a Shine Nymph, so I'm actually going to reject all here. And that's a little bit unfortunate, but it's not that big of a deal. So we're building an airflow tile right here, and what that is going to allow to have happen is... Um to allow this polluted oxygen to creep out, because we don't really want our great hall filled with polluted oxygen. And what we want instead, just to, as a temporary solution here, let's go ahead and put, let's put a tile right here, and another one. Nah, that, 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 that'll be enough. We're gonna put a deodorizer right here. And that's a temporary thing. It's ugly, doesn't belong there, we, we know it, but, but it's fine for now. Okay, so now we've got one, okay, our, how many of these? We've got four of these and we will have five once that's done. So we can go ahead and eliminate four of these. Of all of these cots over here, the only one that's actually in the location where we want it to stay is that one right there. So we're keeping that one. We're deleting him and all three of these. And when, when these first two here get get uh, deconstructed, I'll build another cot right here and start converting this side into the one man, one person, one dupe bedrooms. 
And also, we can go ahead and start using some of our briar seeds here. Copy settings. Okay, we got, got room now to replace those two cots with one. As soon as Joshua finishes it here. There we go. Boom. Now we got to put our doors up in between. And the reason for this is ultimately, you can see here, these are still barracks, even with only a single cot in them. But eventually you can get to a private bedroom, which is just a nicer version of the barracks. Oh, I don't even know what the luxury barracks is. No cots. Okay, so it has to have comfy beds. And then the private bedroom is also comfy beds. And it needs two decor items. So that's... That's what, oh, it has back wall tires. Okay, so we we don't. It's going to be a while maybe before we have the back wall. But anyway, we're we're working our way towards that basically. And another door over here. And might as well go ahead. Oops. And get ready for that one over there. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's seven. Eventually, we're going to need to move this cot over one, but we'll wait for Ellie, the artist, to finish sleeping in it first. Okay. So now, I'm going to speed. I'm going to go super fast speed here for a few minutes because they need to finish all of the tasks that I've given them and also... What? What? Illuminate. Oh, I need to get that lit up, don't I? There we go. Simple enough to do. Okay, um, we need to basically get the construction tasks done. I think these are probably a low priority, aren't they? They are. Let's go ahead and do that. When they finish all of the construction that we've got, then we'll slow it back down a little bit, but also they'll start doing cleanup. So they'll start picking up all of these little bits of loose debris all over the base and storing them in these storage bins. Now there's two different ways to do it. And let me go ahead and go back to just fast, fast forward instead of super fast. Um, there's two ways to do it. We could mark all of these storage bins as sweep only right here, but I don't really feel the need to do that right now. So We'll just let them pick up debris, you know, as is convenient for them, basically. Now, you can have a briar, briar plant also. Colony achievement earned. What did we earn here? Outdoor renovations. Construct a building outside the initial starting biome. Not exactly sure where that was. Maybe it was just a, like this ladder down here, maybe? Probably. So we've now crept out of our starting biome, basically. And that's fine. Not any danger creeping just a little bit into this biome. Now there was a, uh, where is it? Somewhere around here I saw a, another... Okay, I completely lost track of it. Somewhere there's another one of these things. I, there's, I forget what this category is called. Ge Geoactive things like geysers and volcanoes and, and things like that. And I saw the... I guess maybe maybe it was this. I, maybe I accidentally thought that this coal was instead neutronium. They look kind of similar from a distance. And I'm not seeing any more neut neutronium after all so I guess I guess I was mistaken about that another easy relatively you can see it over here is neutronium as well relatively easy way to find them is when you turn on the temperature overlay and they if you see like basically four yeah I'm not seeing any so I can't give a good example but um, if you see four wide just in this general shape and they tend to be colder 
little bit cooler than the environment all around the tiles all around them they can kind of stand out from that temperature overlay okay so now our our uh, polluted oxygen can oops can kind of escape out of this area and start coming up the deodorizer is functioning now let's go ahead and do an airflow tile here as well Attribute increase. Joshua the Doc's got some agriculture. That's fine. Um, let's go ahead and convert this one now. And we can see right here. So these a little bit of these few green bars. This is indicating that there are actually some contents now of these storage bins. So our dupes in their spare time now, which they're getting a little bit of, because we're finally caught up on all the build orders that I gave. There we go. We can just see he delivered some sand. So our dupes are now just in their spare time filling up these storage bins, which in the long run is going to clean up all of this debris all over our base. And that's good because when we look at the decor, the debris is a huge part of all this red that we're seeing everywhere. And that leads us into maybe... Maybe it's time to go ahead and start doing this. So here, let me... Let's go ahead and allow... Allow all of this, I guess. Ceiling collapse. That's gonna happen. Okay. So now all this water is going to start creeping out, spilling down here, freeing up this space right here for us to make use of. Now we still haven't gotten into the hotter temperatures yet, so that's one thing we do want to be careful of. I do like the physics in this game. You can see how it spills down here, but it doesn't just immediately all even out. You can see it's kind of slowly, slowly evening out. But right now, the uh, the constant stream of water in here is is keeping this side a little bit higher than that side over there. Now we are at ten percent. I don't want to overdo it here on the stress. I want to be a little bit cognizant of the stress. We've got. Uh, now, also, I can get rid of these outhouses because we're not using those, but I'm going to keep the sinks for now. I'm going to keep these wash basins because of the, the germs that can be created with the polluted dirt. Are we storing polluted dirt? Yeah. So we've got food poisoning germs here. We always want them to be dropping off here and then washing their hands, just like Frankie the Rancher just did. Thank you for demonstrating that for us, Frankie. Much obliged. Go ahead and get this door open. We got our massage table set up. We don't have them plugged in yet, and we could go ahead and do that. Our network is actually just fine right now, so there's no harm in doing that. You just have to be careful to not overload your wire networks. They can only carry a maximum load of 1,000 watts. You plug in too many of these things, and you can very quickly get over that. Now, it's okay to have them all plugged in at one time as long as they're not all actively pulling power at the same time, but it's a fine line. It's an easy mistake to make to accidentally allow them to all start functioning at the same time, and then next thing you know, you've overloaded your circuit. Okay, so down here, we can go ahead and X that, and let's go ahead and get another crystal blossom planted here. This is almost done. We can speed this up a little bit by mopping if we wanted to, but we're not going to just yet because of the next thing we're going to do. This right now is way too much for, for the limited space that we have down here, so we're not going to do all of this at once. What we are going to do is... Let's see how how do we want to do this? Let's do let's do this, and we can go ahead and dig like that. That gets us up to here. 
and that allows us easy access to this pool of water. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to actually have a little bit better control over the release of this water. Okay, what's wrong here? Air pressure. Oh, we still have insufficient oxygen. Okay, we got it. We got to improve that. So let's get another oxygen diffuser going up here. Oops, right there. What we meant to do. Okay, so that means how are we looking on algae? We got 22 tons of algae. We're fine. Our oxygen diffusers can keep running just fine for the time being. Let's go ahead and get our uh, bristle blossom planted here. Blossom seed, we have five units here, so this is good. We can, can just keep keep replacing these. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead, since we're caught up on the build orders, I'm going to go ahead and start converting that row up there as well, which means we're going to need plumbing to go with it. And because the plumbing and the wires are unappealing aesthetically, we're going to go ahead and enclose this wall because it's not nearly as unappealing when they're inside a wall. So we have a little bit more athletics improvement there. That's good. Okay, so we can go ahead and plant a, another blossom seed here. And of course, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but the the food that that you get when you when you eat the gristleberry does it tell us here? Yes, it does. It says gristleberry is a is a poor quality food, which you know, obviously that doesn't sound particularly appealing. But you know what? It's better than it's better than eating fried dirt, which is quality of terrible, and the. Mush, I'm sorry, the, the lice loaf is also terrible. So that's why we're kind of in the process of replacing our meal wood with bristle blossom. But one thing to be aware of is that bristle blossoms do require water, which meal wood plants do not. Now we have plenty of water right now. But it is, it is a factor that we do want to consider. Okay, so now it looks like we can, we can get in here and I'm gonna do this. Right here, we're gonna build a little bit of a barrier. So we're gonna let all this water above that line and then all of this, we're gonna let it spill down here once this little retaining wall is built. And again, all that is obviously temporary. Okay, we go ahead and replace this one as well. So we're down to just a single, a single mealwood plant planter box here. Just waiting for him to finish, and then I'll copy the setting onto this tile as well. Boom. Okay. Now we only have one unit, so. Now we have, we're back to one unit, there we go, okay. All right, that's good. Two units, we must have just gotten another one. These we're gonna leave mealwood for the time being. These up here we will start to replace next. Once this row is done, what's he at? He's at 94%, won't be long for him. And we built the retaining wall. Okay, so now this is always fun. I always enjoyed doing this. Right. Like so. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do this for now. Printables are available. Okay. 
All right, this is good. Omelette is definitely something that we can make use of, but we don't need it. So I think we're probably gonna go, unless one of these dupes jumps out at us. Small bladder, oh, and mouth breather. This is terrible. This would be a terrible dupe right here, which means he would fit in just perfectly with our base, but we're not gonna take him anyway. Uh, he doesn't do anything for us that we can't already do. Same thing here with Amari. So we're going to take the Briar Seeds because we get three of them. Briar Seeds are nice, uh, oops, uh, are these Bluff Briars here. They're nice for decoration. Okay. Let's go ahead and get... Get the scaffolding and this ladder built. I'm gonna. Well, they'll 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 dig these up as soon as they uh, have access to them. So, what I'm gonna end up doing is digging this out. I just want to make sure that what no water. I don't think it'll spill out over on, onto the sides there. But if it does, we'll make just make sure that we we allow the water to drip down this way. Okay, how are we looking here? Oh, we can go ahead and destroy that, deconstruct that. Do we have our pipes built here? We do, so that's good. Eventually, we're going to want to replace this wire and this piping, which are visible, and there's no good way to make to, to hide those. We'll replace them by running things down lower, probably through some walls or at least through an area where the decor is not as important to us. Okay, let's go ahead and get a bristle blossom planted there. That, that's our last available seed. And then we'll start replacing the ones up there. Still doing just fine on the food front. That's good. And we're making some progress now, cleaning things up and putting them into these storage bins. And we're making a little bit of headway up here. This will be exciting when we get over here. We'll start unlocking some, uh, is it called lore or history or whatever anyway. We'll start learning a little bit about this base and I've I personally have only ever scratched the surface of what you can learn about uh, things that have gone on before. Uh, someone in the comments did mention that it's a very sad story, which is unfortunate, but I do look forward to learning more about it. We can see our little oxy fern down here is using up carbon dioxide and emitting oxygen, so that's good. Very slowly, not a whole lot, but every little bit helps. We are now called up, at least. We're no longer getting the message of not having enough oxygen being created, so that's good. And moreover, now we're not getting the uh, pressurization um, problem that we had over, over here in these bedrooms before. Go ahead and put a briar seat there. Go ahead and leave that door closed for now. But we're in pretty good shape. We can go ahead and destroy that cot. We got ourselves now flower pot here, here, and here. Go ahead and get these open. And we can replace Now every, okay, so now we are all the way up to eight bedrooms. We have enough room for another dupe should we get one. We have enough mess tables set up for them should we get one. That's good. We've gotten some of the polluted oxygen cleared out, so that's good. Okay, this has been pretty productive. We got, you know, what did we accomplish in this episode so far? We've, we've finished our massage tables, which thankfully we haven't needed yet. We've almost finished our bedrooms which sets us up 
pretty well moving forward. It's going to be a little while before we have the plastic to build comfy beds, but it's not a big deal. We have an unreachable dig down here. That's because I didn't allow any way for them to access this portion over here. Now they can. We have our food well underway, well into the process of being converted over to bristle blossoms. These buildings we want to, or these uh, light bulbs, we want to go ahead and get them plugged in. Not like that, like that. Get them plugged in. And we can go ahead and, I don't know why I do this as copy settings instead of just going in and selecting the seed. It's not really all that much faster, but I guess it's because quite often I can do like an entire row of them all at one time. All right, and here's what we're gonna do. Because we're doing so well with food, I am actually going to put these momentarily on Disable Harvest. You know what? Cancel that. Cancel that. I don't want these to be... Because I, I, cause we need the seeds. So we don't want to stop harvesting these because we need the seeds. So what I will do instead is I will disable the harvest here on these because we don't really need them right now. They'll continue growing. They'll be harvest ready. They'll be available for us if all of a sudden we find that we should need them. But don't think that's likely to happen, although we just lost a chunk of food because it decayed. That's interesting. Why do we have no... Did we not... Oh, we're not storing our lice loaf in there. No wonder. It's all, it's all sitting right there on the floor. Well, that was not brilliant of me. Yeah, the lice loaf needs to be in the refrigerator. That's my fault. Okay. Now let's take a look at this. It's fresh, stale, stale, stale. Okay, so that's that's not great, but it's fine. It uh, it will do for now, and we will pretty soon start having some gristle berries to replace it with. Okay, so time to start. I think maybe uh, start thinking about how we're going to wrap up with this episode. Frankie the Rancher, great. Got some extra athletics. Let's go ahead and get the briar seed here, here, and here. And I think maybe the way to finish this up, this episode up, is going to be watching this happen. This is, I just get a it's very strange joy from watching water spill down. Is he going to go up this way? Yes. Yes, she is. There we go. Boom. There it comes. Okay. And we made this scaffolding instead of tiles because we wanted to all have, be able to just come pouring straight down. Fills up this area flows down into our reservoir here and as you can see it's going to basically level out behind this retaining wall we're probably going to end up having to mop a little bit right here but that's fine but now we can go ahead and start making better use of this area up here the starvation that's not good must be somebody in the bathroom right now Yep. Okay. No problem. Doing okay on food. We're doing okay. All right. So there we go. We, we've got our water flowing down into our reservoir. We'll go ahead and I think we'll let, we'll let it finish before we do the mop actions. Okay. So I was I was wrong. It does spill out onto the sides. So we want to make sure that. You know, that it can spill out of this room as well, down into here, and then we'll have to mop up whatever's left over. Attribute increase, okay. All right. Progress. Getting there. Let's go ahead and uh, we have two more, two more seeds available, so let's go ahead and replace all of these. 
We're going to deconstruct all of those. And I think we're going to, at, at this point then, go ahead and wrap this episode up. Looks like this is all done, so we can go ahead and set that to mopping. Still a little bit more spilling down here, but I, I think it's all going to go straight down. Okay, let's go ahead and... Here's why I do the copy settings, because I can now just highlight all of this. And it didn't work, why not? Copy settings, all of that, there we go. That's what I wanted. And over here as well, copy settings. And you. And the others will let grow, and then we'll deconstruct them after they harvest. And okay, pretty good. All right, we're we're in good shape. We made a little bit of a little bit more progress this episode. We are still, I think, under control. We're inefficient, of course, but we are we're stable. We're not in any imminent danger of any dupes dying, which is good because we're getting attached to these dupes, right? These dupes bring us so much joy. These ants in our ant farm. We want to we want to do right by them. So, okay, I think I'm going to go ahead, it's nighttime. we'll go ahead and call this an episode there. Thank you all again for your comments. I do apologize that it's, it's taken a little bit more time to get these out. I'm trying to go through all of the different series that I've got going and set up the, the story so far, which does require some editing, it's a little bit time consuming. But I'm going to get back onto a regular schedule with these things, as long as they are viable. Why is Nicola the chef? Is he, he must be the one with narc. Yeah, he's taking a narcoleptic nap. Okay. All right. So anyway, I'll try to get back onto a regular schedule as soon as possible. But until then, um, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>